Yeah, buddy. What's up, everybody? Happy from Happy Trails. I'm over at my friend Joe's house, and we're gonna check out his rig today. He's got his son, Aiden, that's gonna help us out. And uh, I'm pretty excited. Joe's a really good friend of mine, and this is a pretty new setup, so let's check it out. All right, here we are. This is my buddy Joe over here and his son, Aiden. So what we have here is the 2019 Ram 1500 Warlock. It's, uh, it's got the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. I had the Hemi before and uh, wanted to do a little bit more fuel efficient. It came uh, loaded from the factory with a factory lift, uh, four by four. It's got some nice things in the, in the, on the inside with like heated seats and all that, but- uh, It came with a lift? That's pretty sweet. Yeah, so um, we did yeah. a leveling kit on it, but it came from the factory a little bit higher. Uh, with the 20 inch wheels. I got to get some all terrains on it. But uh, on top of it is the uh, AT Overland Summit. It's made right here in Prescott, Arizona. And we did a little, uh, they, they did a little interior build over there. And uh, it looks sweet, man. Did it come with the, the black stripe on it and stuff? Yeah, it came with the black stripe, uh, the metal bumpers. So it's, it's not quite a Ram Rebel, but it's a little it's it's kind of getting there toward a rebel we'll that's cool man i had to pay to have my hood wrapped yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's check this thing out so you're gonna slap some what's the leveling kit is it uh do you know if it's like a one inch two inch or I what the lift is inch. had it done at the dealer so it was all under warranty nice serious clean and pretty are they they're both 2019 you said that both 2019 yeah pretty decent looking wheels and stuff Oh, nice, disc brakes all the way around. And then on top of the uh, of the camper there, there's 160 watts of solar. And it's got that uh, bubble dome up there for, uh, looks really cool at night. You can open it completely, get the stars, or you can uh, close it down. Oh, so it's got like a skylight or something? Yeah. Sweet. And who makes this camper? It's uh, AT Overland out of... Uh, oh, wait, they're out of here, right? Out of Prescott, Arizona, yeah. Nice. And they, they did the interior build for it out of this... Uh, it's like a... It's kind of an alloy plywood. And like it's a lighter plywood. You'll see it when it gets in there. It looks really cool and it's lightweight. Awesome. You mind if we check out the inside real quick? Yeah, let me pop it open for you. It's really easy. Mind if I get a couple shots inside the, the pickup while you're doing that? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, awesome. Look at this thing. Sure is pretty. Got a new truck. Mm -hmm. How about it? Maybe the other side would be better because I'm getting a lot of light coming in. Light pollution. That's pretty roomy back there. Aiden, you have any problems sitting back there? Enough room for you? Yep. Sweet. Of course, the boy's only 11. He's as tall as me, so yeah, right. we'll see how that goes. So there's some hinges up on that thing. Is it is it pop fully or just at an angle, like a Westphalia kind of thing? It pops like a West, like an old uh, Volkswagen Westie. Nice. Dude, this truck is nice. Thank you. Yeah, let's check out that uh, camper. So really to open this up, all you got to do is pop the tailgate and you can either unlock them and open them from the outside and you can be lazy like me and open it up from the top. So when it's, when it's uh, in this form right here, you still have a lot of room, enough room to you know, get in your refrigerator and uh, everything else. To open this up, it's really easy. There's two glass on each side. Pop those. You unhook those. And then you just push up. What? Dude, that's freaking dope. And you are in camp mode. I like that little jump off there, cat like reflexes. <laughs> that's because Joe was in the army. How long were you in, Joe? Seven years. Combat veteran? Yes, sir. Thank you for your service, my brother. Thank you for yours. Hey, don't spread those rumors. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh there's sweet. There's, this the thing just that comes out here. There's a hey, spice rack. Put that back. Let's show me how you did that. All right. That thing is awesome. So it's on these rails here. And all that goes in like this, you just unlatch it. And it comes right out. And actually locks. And then there's other ones here where you have a full cooktop. Wow, that makes a lot of counter space for you. So you can set your uh, stove. We use a little unleaded gas Coleman. And then... Uh, unleaded right gas right Coleman? Yeah. Wow. It's a dual fuel, so it takes the Coleman fuel and unleaded gas. So you can cook pretty much anywhere in the world, you know. That's awesome. This has a little monopod in case you're putting a lot of weight, but it does hold a pretty good amount of weight as it, as it is. But uh, the other cool thing is... Got a little fridge in, there. When it's in like this, I still have room to cook. And then my lady can stand up there and use this pot for, you know, chopping up vegetables and stuff like that. She can hand it down to me. So nice. It's really kind of versatile how it all just kind of comes in and out. Now, on this side, you have a little bed. It didn't hop up there, show them how, how, how roomy it is. It must be nice to be young and nimble again. <laughs> People never believe how old I am till they hear me stand up. <laughs> so this young man can uh, lay down there and right underneath his head is actually a toilet. We have a- I um, smell wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little Thetford uh, cassette toilet. Okay. Oh, nice, nice little cover on it and you can just pop it right out when you need it. Yep. And it flushes and everything so it's a little more civilized. Yeah, right. Lots of room for storage in here. We got one of those uh, is that one of those uh, shower? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a 24 volt. Um, it's the, uh, Sun Joe. And you oh, look up your- Sun Joe, don't, go figure. Sun Joe and you're the son of Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, holds a pretty good amount of water and it's uh 24 volts so so does it does it have an internal battery so you charge it and it'll work mm -hmm. or oh nice nice batteries right oh, there oh sweet and then you put your uh your different attachments on there so you can use it for a shower you can use it to wash the dogs or whatever else you need it. so it's kind of my my makeshift uh way of having water inside the inside i might the have to there. um find a link on that and post it in the description if anybody else out there is interested in such a thing. I've never seen one, so it it's pretty cool. It's really convenient that instead of uh, taking up, you know, the, the sink systems take up a lot of room in these uh, camper vans and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, nice, all carpeted, sliding windows with, um, you got screens on them, storage. And this is actually about an inch thick of uh, high insulation. density, like uh, honeycomb type insulation. Nice. So when you're inside of it, just typically your body heat can, uh, can keep it uh nice and then what do we got in those cabinets right there so in this cabinet's just more storage right now we have our little uh our little heaters okay cool you know they just run on these bottles here and um Let's see what that is a little cupid it looks like it says cupid yeah gas heater and they run off of butane yeah and then this one's a little bigger oh that's a little camp stove also huh a little yeah. butane camp stove nice Awesome, man. That's a really cool setup. Let me get a shot of these uh, rails over here. That's a really cool idea and design. So you had the bed rhino lined already? Yeah, the bed was rhino lined and then they used, the folks at AT Overland made this, uh, it's a, it's another like insulation material. It's oh, okay. heavy duty and it uh, keeps all that cold and, and warmth from uh, you know, if you're driving, you get all that heat from underneath your vehicle yeah. or when you're stopping. Good in the winter, but bad in the summer. Well, it kind <laughs> of balances out all the way around, you know. It, it keeps it cool and it keeps it warm, you know, yeah. depending on the conditions. But, so uh, the outside is just kind of like tent material? It's a waterproof uh, tent material. And then on the inside we have, it's like a cold weather kit. And we found that uh, using it during the summer or the winter, uh, it kind of keep again, in, insulates the... Uh, it insulates out the uh, the heat, uh -huh. and it also insulates out the cold. Oh, sweet! And then uh, I'll go ahead and hop up here. One other thing I wanted to mention on the inside—that's really here cool. <clears throat> is this is my uh, this is my power pack in here. Um, 
kind of went all out with this one. It's the National Luna um, Power Pack. And it's got a uh, Group 31 AGM battery. And that's enough. It, it gets fed from the chassis battery in the truck, but it also gets fed from the solar as well. So the solar, when it's done charging this, it'll trickle and go to the so chassis battery. cover on it. Well. Can you open it up so we can peek in there? Yeah. So oh, these okay, controllers see, yeah. here. One is for the, uh, this one here, what it does is it, it switches in between the chassis and the battery inside of this uh, power pack. So it's kind of cool because you can actually start your car off of it if uh, Sweet. need be. How do the lights working up? Oh, you got some little aircraft railing in here for stuff if you need it. Hold on, turn on some lights, bro. I don't like being in here with you so with this lights is that, on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is that dome top I was telling you about. It'll open up all the way. Oh, wow, that's sweet. So then uh, you also have LED lighting up here. It does a really good job of pretty much lighting up the whole camper. And then... Uh, it has screens and blackout curtains. Has screens and blackout. So say it's a really nice night but you don't want the mosquitoes coming in, you can just put up the, the, uh, the screen, or when it gets, uh, you want to sleep in a little bit and you want it to be dark. And all this opens up, these are just little, like, uh, little peephole here, but then you have this for windows. All of that to where it's just screen. Wow, I felt the air instantly when you did that. Oh yeah, what's, what's really neat about this is, you know, we. We've always had campers that add air conditioning, but no matter where you're at, when you open up all the windows, you get kind of this 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 big kind of vortex of air coming through here that uh, really insulates really well. Dude, this thing is sweet. What's the stand-up height in here? Because look how much room's in here. I mean, I'm like at least 6'4", so you gotta be 6'5". Right, <laughs> right. I'm a huge 5'7", you guys know that. <laughs> So what is it? It looks like at the peak it could be maybe even 610. Well, it's yeah. It's probably a, you know close to 7 feet. Yeah, that the, thing's, the peak part. That's huge. And then Let's see uh, if we can get a little light in here. Just so that we can see this bedding area. There you go. Let's, all of them are just tear down. That's kind of cool, you know. And then uh, so this is the bedding area and we we put a uh, memory foam topper on there in order to uh, make it a little more, I, I got a bad back, so um, I, I like these little creature comforts here. And uh, the, the other cool part is- What is that, about a full size bed? Yeah, it's it's a little bit bigger than a twin. Uh, my wife and I have plenty of room. We end up sleeping pretty much on top of each other all the time anyway, so. Um, and that's whether you got a full size or a king size. Right. <laughs> But uh, the other cool part is when, you know, say you're not sleeping or whatever, this whole this whole base, this whole bed goes up. So what? now you've got all kinds of room in here. So you're not just limited to that that rear area. This will uh, open up to the point where when you're when you're using your little commode here, this thing's cool. That's awesome, man. I love that skylight thing. That thing is really cool. What do you think, Aiden? You dig it? Yeah. Ready to go do some overland and disappear? Shoot, man, that's really cool. Thank you, man. What? So a big part of this was uh, I had a Hemi Ram and empty. It got about 14 miles to the gallon. And with this setup, if I'm not driving it like I stole it, I get about 20 miles to the gallon. And I've got a full kitchen with a refrigerator, a stove, I've got my own toilet. So a, a big thing for me was getting more bang for my buck, you know, like I can drive all the way to, you know, say I'm going to the California coast or we're heading east or whatever. I'm gonna pay about half as much as people do with a big RV. So what are you getting um, per tank? Like, I don't know what size gas tank they have in it. It's about a 26 gallon tank. And I'll easily, when I'm on the highway, I'll get close to 500 miles per tank. Really? 
Dude, I'm like pushing maybe 300 in the Rebel. And it's a, it's a, well, it's heavy as all get out, but it's also like a giant cell. You know what I mean? And it's a six cylinder diesel, turbo diesel. Yeah. So that's the, pretty impressive, bro. This whole rig was just all about simplicity. You know, it's, it's got a lot of creature comforts that make it uh, better than just sleeping on the ground in a tent because I did plenty of that in the army. But uh, it definitely, when it's all folded up and it, it's really nimble, we go off-roading with it all the time and everything stays where it's supposed to be. And we had a four wheel camper before this and it was, uh, it was a little wonky on the uh, on the off-road trails there. I think total the the whole setup with the uh, the build and all this is about six seven hundred pounds extra on the, on the back of the truck. Here. It's awesome, man. It looks really good. Thank you. Appreciate you showing it off to me. Hope you guys enjoyed the enjoyed the tour. Uh, it's a really cool setup. Thanks to my buddy Joe, his son Aiden, and. Uh, Thanks for following Happy's Trails. Appreciate you guys. If you're not Have a good following one. Happy's Trails, make sure you click that subscribe button and like all his videos. Help this guy out. This guy's an awesome dude. So. Yeah, help me out. Click subscribe. <laughs> Peace.